wait for that, Malika. We have some breaking news. The Nets have announced that Kyrie Irving will not play or practice with the team until he can become a full participant. Given the evolving nature of the situation after thorough deliberation, we have decided Kyrie Irving will not play or practice with the team until he's eligible to be a full participant. Kyrie has made a personal choice, and we respect his individual right to choose. Currently, the choice restricts his ability to be a full member of the team, and we will not permit any member of our team to participate with part-time availability. It is imperative that we continue to build chemistry as a team and remain true to our long-established values of togetherness and sacrifice. Our championship goals for the season have not changed, and to achieve these goals, each member of our organization must pull in the same direction. We are excited for the start of the season and look forward to a successful campaign that will make the borough of Brooklyn proud. We now bring in NBA champion Kendrick Perkins. Guys, and I don't want to overlook the fact when he talks about chemistry, don't forget, they only played a handful of games together, the big three. I think it was like eight in the regular season. Uh, so that's certainly th they want everybody on the court. Uh, Perk, how do you see this playing out? Uh, well, look, first of all, we tried to warn the world that this was going to happen. We saw the frustration with Steve Nash in his interviews. We started to see the frustration with Kevin Durant. And I love the, the stance that the Brooklyn organization is making that, hey, you're not bigger than the team. And they had a plan in place. That plan was for Kevin Durant to sign the extension. Next was supposed to be Kyrie Irving. And then the last person was supposed to be James Harden, who they gave up a lot to get last season. And when James Harden said that he is willing to go into free agency and test the waters because he never been, and now his deadline is coming up for him to sign the contract extension, look, the Brooklyn Nets are saying, you know what? We can't afford to lose James Harden. James Harden is just as valuable to this organization as Kyrie Irving. So with that being said, I love the stance. And guess what? I wouldn't be surprised if Kyrie Irving retires this season for at least one or two years and comes back. He's that stubborn, and I don't see him getting vaccinated. Let me tell y'all something. <sighs> the Brooklyn Nets need to get rid of Kyrie Irving. He got to go. Yes. He's just a problem. He's just a problem. I want to put everything in this proper perspective, Keyshawn, mm -hmm. Kendrick, Molly. There's a whole bunch of people out here, myself included, maybe not you, Key, but a lot of us that had reservations about taking the vaccine. Understood. But we took it. Yes. Not just because of us, but because of the people that we were going to be around. And uh, more importantly, the obligations that we have. I don't get vaccinated. I can't do first take. I don't, get, I don't do first take. I'm leaving everybody stranded. Not to mention compromising my own bankroll and bottom line, which I was not going to do. Let me be very, very clear about that. Okay, I ain't apologizing for that to a damn soul, all right? That's how I roll, okay? Having said all of that, even if that were not the case, if I'm a member of a team and we've aligned and we're mission-minded, I'm not going to be the one to jump off the train to compromise the mission, okay? I'm going to be the one that stands, that stands pat and is like, yo, this is what we doing, this is what we got to do. Kevin Durant, 6.2 billion plus people have taken the vaccine. Whatever conspiracy Kyrie Irving wants to come up with, all right, good luck with that. But the bottom line is that means you're looking at everybody else who's taking the vaccine, and that's the position that you're maintaining. People out there who don't want to take the vaccine, that's your personal choice. I get where you're coming from with that. But you evidently ain't a part of a team. Because if you're a part of a team and other people are doing it and you not doing it doesn't allow you to be a part of the team, then it comes time to make a choice and make the sacrifice and do what you need to do. Clearly Kyrie ain't about that because Kyrie's about Kyrie. His heart might be in the right place philanthropically charitably in terms of the causes that he partakes and the, and the donations that he makes and stuff like that. And he should not be excoriated from that. But the flip side to it is that his level of stubbornness has elevated to a glaring level of selfishness. And I completely applaud the Brooklyn Nets for taking this position. I said it before and I'm telling y'all again, they'd give his ass away for a box of cookies if they could. They're so disgusted with this, this dude. They, I'm telling you what I know, all right? Y'all figure out how the hell I know that. I ain't asking. I'm telling you. It's that disgusted. It's just that, like Kendrick Perkins said, this brother, when he says he might retire if he get traded, Keyshawn, mm -hmm. 
We all know he might. He ain't playing now. I mean, he's that kind of dude. And so as a result, you got teams that don't want to trade for him, A, because he might retire, or B, he might be just as much trouble for them because his focus ain't just on basketball. And yeah. as a result, they got to give equitable compensation in return for his services. And why give away that for a dude you cannot trust? And be clear, you cannot trust Kyrie to be anything but Kyrie. He going to do what he feels is best for him and everybody else be damned. And it's a damn shame because now you might lose James Harden because Daryl Morey is lurking in Philadelphia. Don't think for one second Daryl Morey ain't trying to get his hands on James Harden. I'm telling you what I know. Floor is yours. No, I, I, would, I would say that the Brooklyn Nets did the right thing. No question about it, Perk and Stephen A., they did, they did what they were supposed to do. Because when you look at it, if you got a player like Kyrie missing time, now all of a sudden let's just assume that they're good enough to make it to deep run into the playoffs or make it to a championship. Now all of a sudden there's other states, and you know how states and cities are, they follow each other at some point in time, that all of a sudden they make a decision to adopt what New York and California has decided to do. Now, he can't even play in the championship games, let alone practice time with his team. You cannot, and you know this, Perk, you can't miss time practicing and then think you're going to just come and play in the game. The chemistry is going to be all thrown off. You're going to have all sorts of issues. So they did the right thing. And as far as moving him, who's going to take him? I know I wouldn't. I, because I, I, why would I want to disrupt my locker room and have that problem? Taking on your headache. I, I got a question for you, uh, Perk. Obviously played in the NBA, won a championship. They are the favorites to win the championship. They came together to win a championship. This isn't like, let's get to the playoffs, let's do this. This is like, we're going to win a ring. What are you thinking if you're in that locker room, if you're Harden, if you're KD, and this is what's happening with Kyrie? Well, Molly, let me tell you something. Being part of a championship team and teams that – you know, going to, you know, five finals in my career. When you're part of a championship team, when I was in Boston, we used to have this saying, lose yourself in the team. Mm. Put your, your your agendas aside and lose yourself in the, in, in the team. Because for the simple fact, the goal that you're trying to accomplish is bigger than one individual. But look, yeah. this didn't just start right now. This started last year. Last year, and I said this, when, when, when Kyrie Irving, you know, didn't contact nobody and just sent a text message, I believe, to Steve Nash and said, hey, he's taking off for personal reasons, and the team had to go on the road and play some games, and then all of a sudden we saw footage of Kyrie Irving, I believe it was at his sister's birthday party doing the stanky leg. I said it was a problem right then, and Steve Nash don't deserve this. But when you're trying to win a championship, you need everyone to be committed. And you know who's probably frustrated right now? Because this decision wasn't just made by Sean Marks or Steve Nash or the Owner. ownership of the organization. This, this decision had to involve Kevin Durant. Kevin yeah. Durant is saying, you know what? Look, I've been going to war for you time and time again. Enough is enough. So oh, I yeah, guarantee you left me in the trenches, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. got to go. Yeah, we got more NBA. We, I we... will say this. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant, from what I'm told, has reached that point. He ain't – of course, mm -hmm. he wants Kyrie there. Yeah. yeah. But if they trade him, so be he ain't, ain't going to lose sleep. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, speaking of losing yourself for the team, uh, Kendrick Perks st sticking around here with us. Ben Simmons has just landed. I will tell you where, and we will get the latest on that.